All right, I think it's pretty funny how people on YouTube, because YouTube is allows people to be anonymous, you get a lot of people that come in and they will just say mean or rude or disparaging things because there's no penalty for it. And these are things that people wouldn't say in the real world, but they feel like it's okay to say behind a computer screen because they don't have to face the ramifications of dealing with someone knowing who they are or someone actually responding to them. They can be an anonymous person that just throws a bunch of hate towards someone and doesn't have to deal with any of the consequences. So if you looked at like, if you look at like LinkedIn or Facebook or even Instagram, any of these sites where you actually have to verify your identity and you have a couple hundred friends or connections on these platforms, people are gonna be a lot more careful about what they say. That's why if you go to LinkedIn, there's not a lot of negativity on, on LinkedIn. And the reason there isn't negativity there is because these are people's professional networks. These are people that they personally know. These are potential future career opportunities with their network of people. So if they have a reputation of being mean, rude, negative towards people online, that's not going to be good for them. So they don't want to hurt their own reputation, so they don't be mean. But the same person will go over to YouTube and create fake accounts or create just a secondary account where no one really knows who they are. And they will choose to be rude or mean or leave disrespectful, disparaging comments to people uh, because there's no consequence to it. They can get away with it. And uh, it's kind of like robbing the bank. They'll rob the bank because they, they can get away with it. They know they're not going to get caught. So they'll just take the money, right? And they'll be rude. But it's kind of funny how humans, you know, like there's just so many things you wouldn't say to someone in person, but they might type it on a screen. They might say, oh, Josh, you're an idiot. Or, oh, Josh, I think you're dumb. You don't know what you're talking about. What are you saying? Uh, so they would type that. But if they saw me or they saw someone else in person that they disagreed with, like 99% of the time, they're not going to go up and say something because they don't want to cause a scene. They don't want to get into an altercation, but it's okay for them to be rude online. And I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying it's uh, there's no there's no penalty for for someone being rude online. So, do you guys notice that? I mean, it's 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 just that's why I don't take anything very seriously online because it's very easy for anyone to go on there and be disrespectful, be rude, be mean, uh, because it doesn't cost anything. You know, if you if you if you knew your own reputation was going to be damaged by being mean to someone, you wouldn't do it because you don't want to self destruct yourself, right? You can think whatever you want, and people do. By the way, you go into a public environment or anywhere else, someone might say, "Oh my!" Someone might think this is the difference. You know, I might go into a situation where I'm listening to someone and I'm thinking to myself, "Gosh, this person is stupid." I don't agree at all with what they're saying. I don't like the clothes they're wearing. I think they're stupid. I would never want anything to do with this person. I think they're X, Y, Z, ugly, whatever, right? But those are things that are just in my head. I would never say that because there's a there's an amount of courtesy and uh, you know decorum and being respectful and the golden rule. It's like, I wouldn't want someone to say those things about me, even if they thought them. And you're free to think whatever you want. Go ahead, right? But most people aren't going to just come out and, and be rude to you like that. Imagine the YouTube comments with people, some of the, go to YouTube and look for like hateful comments. And then imagine a situation where people are yelling these comments at each other in person. It wouldn't happen, right? It just wouldn't happen because they can hide behind the cloak of YouTube, of no one knowing who they are their family, their personal connections, their work colleagues, they don't know that they're saying all these rude things. So they just go ahead and do it. And to me, it's more of a reflection on the person commenting because let's be honest, if you don't like a video or you don't like what someone's saying, I mean, I, I pretty much, I don't, I can't remember a time when I left a negative comment because if I don't like a video or whatever, I just move on with my day. I close the video and I move on. I'm not going to spend a couple minutes writing out like a mean comment. And if I ever have done that, okay, I, I mean, I can't remember if I've ever written, you know, maybe one or two just mean comments. I would go back and I would say I was having a bad day. 
right? I was having a bad day and I decided to take it out on that guy on YouTube that I didn't like. And I felt better about myself because I put that guy down, right? That's what these people do online. You know, whether it's to me or to anyone, any video you put out, you're just opening yourself up to criticism or people being rude uh, because they can. But I don't ever take it seriously because, again, it's very easy to go online and to be rude and disrespect people because the person doing it doesn't have to pay anything for it. They don't have to pay any sort of negative cost in their own life to, to, to put that negative energy out there. So that's my conclusion. Don't take it too seriously. Um, obviously, if you're putting anything online, you're, you're going to get feedback. You might not get any feedback, but some of it might be positive, some of it might be negative. Uh, but any of the negative feedback, I think, is more of a reflection on the individual writing it. Uh, because if you're not, if you don't like me or you don't like anyone who's making a video or whatever, you know, you, most people just, they don't in, interact with it in any way. They're not going to like my video. They're not going to dislike my video. I would say most people that even like this video or any video, not mine, but just any video, right? 99% of the time when I watch a video, I don't do anything with it. I don't comment. I don't like it. I don't dislike it. Okay. Because I just don't care. And I would say most people are the same, uh, obviously, with me. You know, I, I would say, hey, you, do you, if I ask for people to like this video right now, you think people will like it? Maybe, because I'm specifically asking them to. But otherwise, no one's going to like it. 1% of people might like it, right? Because they just don't care. So anyone that's leaving negative comments and taking the time to actually write out something negative on a random video... It is a reflection on the person writing the comment. They are obviously not very happy with themselves because they're taking time to put someone else down who's just a random person on the internet, right? So you guys let me know what you think. I just think it's fascinating because people will do things differently if it's in person or if it's on a network where they know that they could be negatively impacted by, by acting like an idiot, right? So let me know what you think on it. Subscribe. If you want, most people won't, but I don't care. And see you on the next one.